Welcome to Medler Field, home of the Penn State Nittany Lions. Also, home to me. Hey guys, it's Jake. I am the voice and the hands and the brains behind all the animations you guys have been watching for over two years now. I'm currently the Director of Ops and Player Development for Penn State, and I could spend all my days here. And today, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of all of our player development technology. To do this, I'm gonna walk you guys around all of our beautiful facilities and show you all of the technology that we use and a little introduction to how we use it. At the Division I level in college baseball, technology plays a huge part in the player development process. And a lot of teams nowadays have invested that money into owning that equipment. But what separates teams from the pack is how they actually apply it. To begin with, let's hop on down to the bullpen. And the bullpen is where a lot of the magic happens in terms of using our player development technology. In the bullpen, that's where we obviously get to practice and develop our pitches and our pitching plans. So we have a lot of technology that helps us in that process. I'll show you a little bit on the different types of technology that we have, how we use it, and briefly how we have it set up. Welcome to the bullpen. I'll show you a little bit about the technology that we use in the bullpen and a little bit about how we use it. So here is the Rapsodo 2.0 Pitching Unit. This is one of our biggest pieces of player development technology that we use in the bullpen setting. To set up the Rapsodo, you need to place it 15 feet, six inches in front of home plate. One thing that we do to try and alleviate some of that setup time every day is rather than measuring every day, we had it measured once, we drew a line, now we know exactly where we have to put it. Then we're gonna hop on over to the iPad to calibrate it. First, we're gonna hop on over to the settings tab and bring up Wi-Fi. Gonna make sure that, that is on and then the Rapsodo should, for us, automatically connect because we've used it before. Once that's connected, then we're gonna hop out and jump into the Rapsodo app. Then it'll open up for us. All the things that we have left to do include connecting to the unit. Boom, and we're connected. Then we gotta calibrate it. We don't have to mess with this. What we do have to mess with is making sure that this red line is through the center of the mound. So let me do that real quick. All right, and we are good. So. As you can tell, we have this set up in the middle of the rubber, then we are good to throw with this guy. So now, let's set up our Edutronic. Ours came in this case, all right? I feel like a lot of people's do. So we open it up, we have the camera itself. First, we need to apply our lens. So first, pop the camera, lens off, toss the lens off here, and we'll toss that in there. After you hear that click, it's locked in. That's pretty much all we have to do for the setup of the camera. Next, what we have to do is set up the stuff on the back. You can see that we already have our SD card in there. So that is good. Then we're gonna plug in our trigger. That allows us to capture the footage by a click of a button. Next, we're gonna set up our Wi-Fi signal. Plug in the ethernet here, set that down. Plug in the ethernet to this box. Then all we have to do is power this little guy. We do that with just one more cord. So we'll plug this into the back here, plug this guy in right there. That is all we need except power. As soon as that plugs in, you'll start seeing these guys light up, the fan starts spinning, and the power light up top going. This is now gonna show you the view of our Edgertronic. It's kinda hard to see, so maybe I'll just toss it on there. You'll probably look at it on screen now. So that's our bullpen technology. As you can tell, the main purpose of it is to provide instant feedback, whether that's video, verbally from a coaching standpoint, or the data that we see on Rapsodo or any of our other pitch tracking devices. Let me tell you guys a little bit about PitchLogic. Friends at PitchLogic sent me over this baseball. So if you head on into the description down below, you get one of these PitchLogic balls for $25 off, the original price, just by using the link in the description down below here. Or they have two other deals for you on the subscription passes for both the Plus and pro premium account that you can use for free for the first couple months. Check out that link in the description if you're looking for a cheap and easy way to collect data on your pitchers. Yeah guys, so now we're up in the press box. The different types of technology that we use up here include TrackMan, Yakertech, and then Bats our video software. I'll just clip together a couple of shots of the way that these look on the computer. We'll move on from there. In game, these three pieces of technology help us collect a ton of information on what's going on out on the field. On TrackMan and Yakertech, we get Excel files or CSVs that spit out 100 plus data points on every single pitch that is thrown on our field. For bats, we get video from six or seven different angles around the stadium 
to analyze every single moment that happens out during our scrimmages and our games. The technology that we use down in the bullpen, we want that instant feedback. Whereas the technology that we use up here is for long-term development and analysis of our players. This is where we analyze how our guys' stuff is performing that we're working on down in the bullpen. This portion of the video could be super long about the applications of the different things that we can do with that technology, but as an example, I have one of our reports right here. On this report, you can see the different movement profiles, the velocity dips, and a bunch of different tabular data, including pitch results, the velocities, pitch movement profiles that you may be used to already seeing on Rapsodo. On the back, we have a spray chart of where those pitches are, the release points, and then where hard hits are given up. The idea is our bats, our track man, our yakker tech, we're using that sorts of information to do post-action analysis as compared to the instant feedback that we get down in the bullpen. Honorable mentions to this video include our bat sensors that we use semi-frequently, and then of course the tank, the windmill pitching machine. I'll do full videos on a bunch of that stuff later, but I just want to give you guys a tour of the stuff that we got going on out here at Penn State. We covered a lot of different things today, mostly covering all of the different technologies that we use here at Penn State, but we can of course do a more in-depth dive on anything that we talk today in a future video, so let me know in the comments down below. When people ask me what the importance of all of this technology is in our player development plans, I give them this example. To me, it's like being able to use a calculator on a math exam. A really smart student will be able to get through those problems on his own. If you have the right teachers in place to give you that information, then you'll be able to get through the problems. Once you're able to use a calculator on that exam, it becomes a lot easier because you don't have to think so much about some of those more specific fine details. That's how we use it here at Penn State. It's supplemental to the things that all of our great coaches and our great players are already doing. It helps us get from our player's floor when they get in here to their ceiling to help them achieve their goals both on our field and hopefully moving forward. So hopefully that was a good insight onto some of the things that we do. If you guys liked what you saw today or you want to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.